I just had this amazing conversation with a friend. I felt heard. I felt understood. Uh, I felt validated. And uh, I didn't feel just. And there is a reason why this is so important. And I'm going to tell you now. The reason why is because I was meeting with a pastor, a fellow pastor from the denomination where I grew up in. And I worked for many years, uh, 20 plus years as a pastor in that denomination. Due to my mental health and due to some uh, interventions that I had on my brain, um, a therapy that I had a few years ago, I lost out of memory and I lost the base of my beliefs as a Christian person and uh, uh, my convictions as a, as a pastor. So for the last few years, uh, I had forced the construction of my faith and I've earnestly tried to rebuild my faith. I needed to talk with somebody. So I asked my pastor if he could meet with me. And I explained this to him. And I said, listen, I, I, have, I have many doubts. I, I have problems uh, praying. And uh, he just listened. He listened and he gave me some advice. But the advice that was given to me, it wasn't a, a theological breakout of the things that the church believes. He says, just, just be yourself. Be yourself, and, and you don't have to go into complicated reasonings. Just be yourself, and, and if you don't know how to pray, just say, Jesus, save me. Or, be with me. I, I, I don't know how to pray. Just, just be with me. So he wasn't bothered that a fellow pastor uh, with more experience than him had a faith crisis or even wasn't sure if he believed in the same things. He wasn't faced by that. He just saw a human being in front of him that needed a, a shoulder to cry on, a set of ears to, to be listened to. And he was just that. He was, he was that. And I am so thankful. He has taken a huge weight off my shoulders. I am convinced I don't feel it because of my mental health. I am convinced that uh, God's attitude is similar, that he, he isn't as concerned as I thought he could about what I believe exactly or what's my opinion on certain things about the Bible, etc. I believe he just wants me to love people, to be honest and to treat God the same way that I want to be treated. And I was treated by my, my friend. I like this idea of loving without strings attached. And today I was loved without strings attached. I want to do the same thing. If you've watched this far in the, in the video, you know that at Empathy Cafe we do that, we love without strings attached. Today, it felt good to be loved back as I do with my community at Empathy Cafe. But yeah, this whole thing of loving without strings attached is amazing. Thank you. Love you all. Peace and love.